For the first exercise, we're going to use a band. I want you to put your thumbs inside it or your hands inside it so you're holding it properly, otherwise it could flip out. We're going to take the tension like this, nice and tight and slowly bring it out like this, keeping the tension. Now what we're doing here is we're working all the supporting muscles of the shoulder, the rotator cuff. As you come in like this, make sure you crush those shoulder blades together. Just doing it slowly. You really feel it in those supporting muscles. Another three. Keep breathing. Core tight. We're going to take it overhead. Again, keeping the tension in the band. Feet braced just over shoulder width. Take it down just to the top of the neck. Again, this is working those shoulder muscles. Very complex joint. Needs lots of warming up. Another three. Keep the tension at the top. And hold. Good. Bring the band in front of you. Again, keeping it tight. I'm going to come over. Just go slowly at first, to see if you've got the range. I'm going to take it all the way to the glutes. And then back. Don't rush this one, do it very slowly, just to check you've got the range. If you haven't, you might have to slightly bend the elbow a little bit. And as you're going over, you pull the band tight. It makes it a little bit easier. Another two. Keep breathing as you're doing it. And this is great for opening the chest, opening the shoulders. And down. Good, okay. Let's lose the band. Hands on hips. Let's get some hip rolls. Nice and slowly. Getting that full range of motion, that full circle. Keep breathing, starting to feel the heart rate go up. Good, and switch sides. One more. Let's get the chest open and the arms. And let's get a little bit of movement here. Not just staying in one plane. Let's go up this way. Getting those shoulders, those arms, the chest warmed up. Another couple. Good. Back into our brace position. Let's just do some shallow squats. So knees want to be coming out, feet pointing out slightly, just over shoulder width with the legs. Not too deep at first, four or five inches. And then as we progress, let's get a little bit lower. And the arms coming up. One more, and we're going to stay all the way down. And on our heels, we're going to put our hands together. And I just want you to press out there on the groin, get that groin opened. Again, this can get very tight if you're fairly sedentary. Just hold that. You can have a little bit of movement there. You can really feel that opening the groin. Hip flexors. Breathe through it again. Okay, we're gonna to drop to the knee. And I want you to put the hand on top of the knee. And again, being dynamic with our warm-up, we're gonna lunge into the movement. And this is great for opening those hip flexors, which if you're sat down can get very, very tight if you're in a sedentary office job. And as you get older, these are the muscles that really start to tighten up. So keep that moving. Try and push a little bit deeper each time. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides on the other leg. So get into position. Make sure your core's tight, nice and strong. And again, just pushing that leg forward. You want to be feeling it down here, pushing down in those hip flexors. Keep it going. Make sure you're breathing. Keep the core tight. You want to be nice and stable. Just one more. Good. Okay, guys, let's stand up a bent. Again, we're going to go into some big squats using the arms as well. This is great for warming up the whole body. Nice and slow, knees out. Take the arms down, try and brush the floor, and up. Again, 
down, try and brush the floor, knees out, big circles with the arms, down, touch the floor, head up, big circles with the arms, one more, down, circles with the arm, and up, good, a little bit of running on the spot, get the heart rate up here, get those hands moving as well, abs tight, I'm going to go into a high knees here, to take those knees nice and high, and then back down, just into a shallow tap, good, feet out wide, back into those hip rolls, and just let the heart rate drop down a little bit, body's feeling nice and warm, start to breathe, and then switch directions, last couple, and that's it, well then guys, enjoy your workout. We're going to do a giant set of four exercises for strength. First exercise we're going to do, we're going to take the band for a shoulder press. So let's all get in position. Band between your feet, about shoulder width apart. Bring it up like this to the top of the chest. And we're going to press. Slowly down, nice slow tempo. Not too aggressive at the top, we want to keep the elbows soft. Keep the core tight. And keep the head through. We want to be careful we're not pressing to here. It wants to be right above the head. The tempo down nice and slow. That's the bit that's really going to change your body shape. Really important. Last two. And up. Good. Breathe with it. Excellent. And down. Okay, take the band, we're going to go straight into a bent over row. So you can take the band, step on it, and make two handles. Remember to keep the back straight, sit back, head neutral, so you don't want to be cricking up like that, you want to keep it straight. And we're pulling it up, shoulder blades together, and down. You really want to get that retraction in the shoulder blades, working those postural muscles. If that's too hard, you can take it as a single band. But keep it slow. We're gonna bring it up, slight pause, hold. That's really important on this exercise. And down. Shoulder blades crushing together. I can literally get my hand between those shoulder blades. Make sure you're coming back. Doesn't just stay rigid. Crush those together. There we go. And down. Last three. Up. Pause and down, good. And open the back right out the bottom. We want that full range of motion. Don't let the shoulders roll forward. Keep them there, keep them full. And up, slowly down. Good, we're gonna go into a single arm press. It's very easy to have imbalances with shoulders, with legs. So it's good to do some single arm work. So again, keep the body completely breast braced. Hands on hip and driving the band up slowly down drive it up if you find that too hard you can take a knee like this brace the band under your knee and push it up we're only doing five that's good slowly down and press directly above your head good switch onto the other side so take the band under the foot bring the arm up Hand on hip, brace the core, and drive. Slowly down, breathe. <sighs> Slowly down. Really thinking about that range of motion, but also getting it directly over your head. We don't want to be pushing forward. We want to make sure our shoulders are in the proper alignment. Good. One more. And down, good. Drop the band, we're going to eccentric press up. So this means lowering only. We're only doing five reps. So get into your press-up position. Again, your choice. You can be in full press-up position. You can drop to your knees. And we're going to go down in five, four, three, two, one. Good. And bring yourself up. You're not pressing yourself up. You're bringing yourself up. In position. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring yourself up. Eccentrics are a great way 
of getting stronger in position and five, four, three, two, one. It's a much stronger movement than the concentric phase, which is depressing. It's a great to do this to help you do a full press up. If you struggle doing full press ups, this is a really good way. Four, three, two, one to improve your strength overall. Keep it going. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. One more in position. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. Well done, guys. Stand up. Grab the band. We're going straight into shoulder press. Abs tight in position and drive the band up, slowly down. Slight pause and up, slowly down. Think about the muscles you're working here. Shoulders, triceps, core's engaged. Keep it going. Slowly on the way down, keep it under control. Up, good. We'll just do one more, slowly down and drive all the way up, arms straight and slowly down. Good, make sure you breathe with it. In position for bent over row. Step on the band, make two handles. I'll show you from the side. Back wants to be straight, neck neutral. And we're pulling that band up, shoulder blades crushing together. Slowly down and up, slight hold at the top. Really important for this exercise because we really want to wake up these muscles on the back here, the upper back, the traps, the trapezius, which are these muscles right down the neck here. By crushing those shoulder blades together. Full range of motion, so we're coming all the way back as far as we can and we're straightening the arms at the bottom. Two more, up, excellent. Down, open the back fully and last one, up and hold, hold, three, two, one, good, and slowly down. Excellent, grab the band, we're going to single arm press. So get yourself in position. If this is too hard, you can take it on a knee, makes it a little bit easier, hand on hip, and drive that arm up, slowly down. Core tight, body wants to be square, you don't want to be leaning over with the band, it's working the core as well as the shoulders, triceps, and drive, <sighs> slowly down, just two more, up, drive, slowly down, good, and the last one right above your head, and keep it under control all the time, slowly down, good, and switch arms. It's always good with this one to do your weaker arm first, so if you've got a definite arm that's weaker, maybe start with that one. And up, slowly down, and drive. Good, it's often ignored doing single arm stuff, single leg stuff, but it's so important to keep balance in the body. You don't notice these slight differences in strength until you do them, because you compensate when you're using two arms. Good, keep it going. Drive it up, full range of motion, make sure you're right above the head. Last two, up, slowly down. Good, and the last one, bring it up, and slowly down to finish. Last exercise. We're going to do eccentric press-ups, just four reps. So get yourself in position, whether you're in full press-up position, dropping to the knees, and we're going down in five. With me, in five, four, three, two, one. That's good, just help yourself up in position. And five, four, three, two, one. That's two, help yourself up, engage. And five, four, three, two, one, last one, in position, and five, four, three, two, one. Well done guys, chest, shoulders, lots of pressing, excellent workout. Hit workout now, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, we're gonna start with burpees. So in position, and hands coming down, kick back, down, stand up straight. Again, hands down, kick back, up, Stand up straight, keep it going. Up, this is a full body exercise. 
working everything heart and lungs. And remember, on the RPE scale, you want to be eight out of 10. So you're eight out of 10. So you want to be blowing. Keep it going. And time. 10 seconds break. We're going to hold. Next exercise, we're going to go into a star jump. So with me, in three, two, one, and. Again, we're using the whole body here. Arms, legs, getting the heart and lungs pumping. So keep it going nice and speedy. Three, two, one, time. We're gonna take 10 seconds rest. Prepare yourself for burpees. In position, take a breath. In three, two, one, and down. Kick, back, stand up straight. Up. Keep it going. I know these are a horrible exercise, but they're so effective on the body, working absolutely everything. Stand up straight, keep the chest full. Working the legs, working the arms. In three, two, one, 10 seconds rest. In position, take a breath, use the time. Heart should be pumping now in three, two, one, into star jumps. So again, want to be moving these fairly quickly, getting the heart and lungs working. Feet coming out, keep the body straight. It's tempting here now to hunch over a little bit if the back's getting tired. Four, three, two, one, time. Take the time, 10 seconds in position, end of your mat, stand up straight. With me, in three, two, one, and let's go. Down, kick, back, straight, a little bit quicker. Keep it going. Heart rate really wants to be spiking up now. Burpees are working everything. Arms, legs, heart, lungs, chest. Four, three, two, one. Last set, we finish on star jumps. Let's finish on a high in position. Keep the form tight. Let's go. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Well done guys, hit workout over and out. We're gonna do some yoga style salutations here now. So we're gonna to come to the end of the mat. Everybody's gonna put their hands down, we're gonna breathe in. Bring the arms up. Bring down, once again, breathe in. Bring the arms up and we're going to slightly lean back, get that back bend in. From there we're going to come down, keeping the back nice and tight to the floor and just hang there, fingertips on the floor. Breathe in, come up with a slight halfway lift, fingers or hands slightly touching the shins. Back down to the floor, bend your knees if you need to here. I'm not very flexible so I definitely need to. We're going to bring the right leg back. We're then gonna bring the left leg back. We're gonna hold that plank position. And from here, very slowly, we're gonna, just gonna drop down to the floor. If you struggle with that, put the knees down first. To a flat position. From here, we're gonna push back into child's pose. Pressing back, de-stressing that lower back. And then come forward slightly, and we're coming up into a downward dog. Heels want to be pressing towards the floor, elbows out, and you want to be kind of in an upside down V position. We're going to lift the right leg up, and then bring the right knee to the nose. Bring the right leg up again, 
and then bring the leg forward to the front then bring the left leg up to follow you're still in that down position and from here big move up arms in the air and back down to neutral let's do that again breathe in bring the arms up and as we come down we're going to bend the body forward breathing out touching the floor bend the knees as required we're going to come up to a halfway lift hands touching the shins and then breathing out to the floor this time we're going to take the left leg so we're going to take the left leg up and back right leg up and back into plank position again if you need to drop the knees here we're going to come down really slowly to the floor from here we're pushing back into child's pose lengthening the arms as you do it we don't have the arms on the floor you want to keep them active and from there slightly come forward and we're going back into the downward dog heels pushing towards the floor elbows pointing out at the side of the head in the upside down V position we're going to take the left leg we're going to lift it up bring the knee to the nose left leg up again and then bring the left leg as far forward as you can bring the right leg to follow hang in that position taking the pressure off the lower back I'm going to come back up and back down to neutral okay we do that again try a little bit quicker so breathe in bring the arms up we're going to bend forward hinging from the hips down hands to the floor come up halfway lift fingers on shins back down to the floor right leg comes up left leg comes up and from here slowly down dropping the knees if required to the floor pushing back into child's pose really stretching out all those muscles hitting muscles that don't normally get stretched keep breathing and up into downward dog right legs coming up right leg to nose right legs coming up again and bringing it round to the front left leg to follow holding in that down position and as we come up big breath back down to neutral let's do the other side so breathe in arms up breathe out hinge forward hands to the floor fingertips touching halfway lift fingers on shins down left foot up and back right foot up and back we're going to go slowly down dropping the knees if required press up position to the floor back into child's pose and hold from here we're going into upward, uh, downward dog pushing those heels to the floor engaging the arms we'll just take a few breaths here left leg up knee to nose left leg up bring it round to the outside to the front right leg to follow hinge position and come up we're gonna breathe out and breathe out just one more time we're just gonna take a breath down to the toe so we're just gonna breathe in up we're just gonna touch the floor slowly and hold this position for three breaths back up and breathe out well then guys 
excellent workout. First exercise, we're gonna to take to the mat on all fours. If you've got any knee issues, you maybe put a towel under your knees just to pad them out a little bit. We're gonna stay like this, nice and braced. And as we breathe in, we're gonna look up, arch the back into the cat position, and then breathe out. Really round that spine. Breathe in. Arch the back up, really stretch that neck and then breathe out. Taking all that tension off the spine. Getting all the air out. Breathe in. Round the back, breathe out. We'll just do one more. And breathe in. Really arch that back, look up as high as you can. Breathe out. That's good, okay, we're gonna face forward. Slightly upright on the knees. Again, if you need that padding underneath, just get a towel or something. Do a side bend, so right hand on the floor. Keep the hand here upright. We don't want to be leaning forward. We wanna try and stay as upright as possible. And stretching that side open. So we wanna be pushing up and to the right. Hold that position, really feel it in the side of the body. And then switch sides, left hand on the floor. Opening up here, pushing up to the ceiling and to the left. Feel it right down the side of the body, staying nice and upright, keeping the stretch where we're looking for in the side. That's good. We're going to take a seated position, feet in front of us and feet together. Depending on your range of motion, you might be able to put your feet a bit closer, a bit further apart. Mine isn't great. We're going to hold the feet and we're just going to pull down and breathe out. Breathe in. This is a butterfly pose. And just pull down a little bit more, rounding the top of the back. A really good posture. Just pull down a little bit more and hold. Keeping the right leg here inside. We're going to straighten the left. You might need to take the band here, I do, just to kind of stretch. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. If you are flexible, then look over here and you can see Michelle can actually do it without the band. Keeping the back straight, if I do this on the side it might be easier for you to see. We're going to pull down and I'm using the band here just to pull a little bit further to get that extra stretch in the hamstrings and hold. Breathe in. As we breathe out we can pull down a little bit more, get that extra stretch. Breathe in. Great stretch for the hamstrings. Keeping that back straight. We just switch sides, so straightening the right leg, bring that left leg in. I'm going to put the band around here in position and again I'm just going to be pulling down here back straight feeling it in the back of the hamstring hamstrings and muscles get really really tight especially as you get older everything starts to shorten that's good we'll lose the band there we do a little back stretch while we're in this position. So, put the right leg over the left like this. The hand wants to go behind the body. And then the left arm's gonna go over the knee, just below it, and twist round. And really push that posture round for the lower back. And hold. As you breathe out, you can get that little bit of an extra stretch. And really try and twist into it. Really nice stretch on the lower back there. Then switch sides. So we're going to straighten the right leg. Left arm behind the body. Just over below the knee. And again, twist round as far as you can. And as you're breathing, use the breath to help you get that extra range of motion. Really push into it. One more breath. Good, okay, back on the mat, staying square, we're gonna lay down. 
do some glute bridges. So, arms want to be by the side of the body, feet square like this, and as we come up like this, we're going to tense the glutes together and hold. This is a great way of taking pressure off the lower back. Activating those glutes slowly down. And then again, we're going to come up and hold. Breathe out, expel all that air. And hold. One more time, coming down and up. Squeezing those glutes together. And down, good. Stay in that position, we can do a glute stretch. So the left leg is going to come across the right, the arms are coming through and we're pulling on the leg like this. And this is a really good glute stretch. Stretching one side. Again, the glutes are muscles that get weak as we get older. So need to be worked. Need to be kept awake. Just hold that posture. Breathe through it and then switch legs. So just do the opposite. The hand's coming through here, onto the hamstring, and then we're just pulling it back. And hold. My neck range isn't great, so my neck's coming on the floor, but if you can keep it flat, that would be great. And if you can prop it up with a towel or something, if you can't. I'm just keeping my chin on my chest, protecting the neck. Good, lay straight and we're going to finish on a back twist. So the left leg will go up and we're going to help it with the right leg by crossing the leg and this just helps to take it a little bit further. And we're going to stretch over and once we're in position, turn the neck the other way and hold. If you want to make it a bit harder, lift the leg a little bit higher and you should be feeling that right down that lower back twisting and that right leg will just help you push down a little bit further. And again, use the breath. As you breathe out, you should be able to push down a little bit further. Good, back to centre and we'll switch sides. So the left leg going over the right, pushing over. And once you get in position, just look to the right and hold. Stretching that lower back right down here. One more breath. Great. Well then guys, hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the rest of your day.